Hello everyone, I'm back with another One Piece chapter. First of all, sorry for not posting any new chapters recently. I've been busy with other things, so I hope you understand my situation. Also, I have a request, help me reach over 1000 subscribers this year. With your support, I believe we can achieve this milestone. Thanking you guys in advance. So, guys without wasting any time let's hope into the chapter. Title of the chapter is The Height of Folly. We have reader request cover page which highlight Carrot, Nekamomoshi and Inner Sashi. We see Carrot cooking stew for Nekamomoshi and Inner Sashi. It's good to see Carrot, Nekamomoshi and Inner Sashi. And hope we might see them soon in action. In last chapter 1104, Saturn gave the order for a buster call. Following that, a marine officer instructs his subordinate to go back to their ship and get ready for a massive bombardment. One of the marine officer wonder about what happened in the town center. He asked his fellow teammate, who didn't know and just told him to just follow the order. Dahl requests Saint Saturn and Kizaru to return to the ship. But Saturn refused. He said he and Kizaru would stay on the island and instruct them to start the attack as soon as possible. This surprised most marines, but Kizaru told them to leave, and they agreed. Vegapunk questioned why Saturn was doing all this. After all he was after his life, so why Saturn want to destroy everything? Vegapunk pleaded with Saturn to stop the madness, explaining that the egghead, where the most advanced scientific research is conducted, would be set back by a century if destroyed. Vegapunk even begged Kizaru to intervene and stop the buster call. Saturn questioned Vegapunk, suggesting that Vegapunk might be hiding something that could harm the world government. Saturn insisted that further advancements weren't necessary. Vegapunk, in responded that it will impact on humanity. Saturn then revealed that he knew a ship had left Egghead the day before, and he had ordered its destruction. Vegapunk panicked upon hearing this. Saturn explained that it was reasonable to assume that some of the researchers on the ship might have information about the Void Century. Vegapunk angrily protested, stating that the researchers on the ship know nothing and they are innocent. Saturn accused Vegapunk of breaking a taboo, similar to what happened in Ohara. Scholars in Ohara were researching the Void Century, leading the world government to call a buster call and destroy everything. Saturn blamed Vegapunk for doing something similar, driven by selfish curiosity. This made Vegapunk furious. Meanwhile, a marine soldier ordered the pacifista to stay on the island and instructed other marines to start evacuating. Sanji instructed Frankie to hurry and get into the vacuum rocket. He told him to meet the others at the back entrance of the Lavo Stratum while Vegapunk diverted their attention. On the other side, Bonnie was concerned about Vegapunk. Sanji reassured Bonnie, telling her not to worry because they wouldn't leave without him. Sanji got in touch with Nami to check the situation at Lavo Stratum. Nami informed him that they reached the back entrance of Egghead and asked about the chaos below. Sanji then told them that the Marines were going to launch a buster call. This news made Yuzop and others anxious. Nami, concerned about Luffy, asked if he was with Sanji. Sanji assured her that he lost track of Luffy but believed Luffy would be okay. He asked for updates on their situation. Nami shared that Zoro was still fighting with Luchi, and they had sent Jin to watch over Zoro to prevent him from getting lost. Edison was worried about Stella, and Chopper was taking care of the injured Robin. Usopp's panic and frustration about facing another buster call, he urged everyone to act quickly and escape from Egghead. Nami also informed Sanji that Vega Force 1, carrying the Thousand Sunny, was destroyed by Kizaru. Brook, using his Devil Fruit ability, froze the clouds to move the Thousand Sunny by sliding it to the back door. In the next scene, Marines are preparing to open fire on Egghead, aiming to turn it into dust. Pacifister robots are also moving and causing destruction on the island. Vegapunk looks sad as the city he built is getting destroyed in front of his eye. Atlas and others are going up to Labo Stratum using the rocket vacuum. When Frankie sees the incredible speed of the rocket vacuum, he gets excited. However, their joy is short-lived as they were suddenly attacked by Kizaru. He uses his light sword to attack the vacuum rocket, causing it to be destroyed. As a result, the people in the rocket, including Kuma, Bonnie, Frankie, and Atlas, start falling. When Sanji noticed Bonnie and the others falling, he rushed to save them. Taking advantage of the situation, Saturn ordered the pacifista to shoot at Bonnie and the others. Saturn sought revenge on Kuma as we know Kuma had sacrificed his life for his daughter Bonnie. Saturn wanted Bonnie to be killed by the pacifista, which was a clone of Kuma, as it would bring satisfaction to Saturn. In the big picture that follows, Kuma is holding Bonnie in his arm, Frankie, and Atlas, and they are all falling. Witnessing them fall, Vegapunk thought to himself. He recalled hearing that Bonnie had become a pirate, and he couldn't help but think of the worst-case scenario. 
Vegapunk muttered to himself that a pacifista wouldn't hesitate to shoot Bonnie because they wouldn't recognize or care that she is the daughter of their creator. On the other side, Luffy has been captured by the Marines and is unable to move due to being completely stuffed with food. Towards the end of the chapter, a marine battleship on its way to attack the researcher's ship was unexpectedly attacked by an unknown enemy. A marine officer informed Kizaru that the attacker was heading towards Egghead. So, guys this is the end of chapter. Guys what do you think who could be this unknown person or group? Whether it's the Revolutionary Army. We saw them in the Kamabaka Kingdom in the previous chapters, but we're not sure if it was in the present timeline or the past. Or it might be the Blackbeard Pirates as we saw in previous chapter Blackbeard's ship near Egghead. But the question is, why would they save the researcher's ship? We know Blackbeard is usually a character who only does things if they benefit him. Or it can be Luffy Grand Fleet because Oda Sensei mentioned in the SBS that they will make move when there will be big events so this is the right time for Grand Fleet to enter into picture again. So guys that's for today video I hope you enjoyed the video. Before you go don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching.